Welcome to Rebecca Sounds Reveille. I am absolutely excited about today's show, and I hope you are too, because you know how much I love to bring all kinds of tools and techniques and resources and inspiration to you that you can use right after or even during the show. And today, I have someone who has just the most beautiful personality, her experience in life and her success in entrepreneurship has been unbelievable. She is one of Canada's preeminent authorities in life transformation, relationship building, and, oh yes, matchmaking. She's very regarded as an effective personal development coach, life coach, fitness. She's certified by well, you're going to love this, the prestigious Matchmaking Institute of New York. She has made a number of media appearances, and today is going to be another one because I'm so delighted to have her. But she has just done so many media appearances, like on ET at Canada, um, The Millionaire Matchmaker, many, many, many media appearances. And not only does this just boost everything that she does, but she writes for the Huffington Post, Zoomer, Viva, and many others. And you'd think with all of these things that she's doing that, gosh, she would be so busy. Well, I've got to tell you, she's also the author of The Total Package, personal development life coach. Like I said, she's founder of Perfect Fit Elite Lifestyles and Introductions. I'm so delighted to bring to the show. Yes, Aviva Reimer, welcome to the show. Hi, so nice to have you here leading all this. I, I've got to tell you, I there's so much more to you that I can share with the audience, and it really isn't fair for me to do it because. Today's show is about you and what you're doing and all the things that you do to help other people. And I want you to bring just the passion and energy that you have with what you're doing to the audience, to those that are watching the show, to those that are listening to the show, and those that are ready to really be empowered and you've got it. So I'm delighted to have you. Tell me about what you've got going right at the moment. Oh my goodness. Well, schedule is a little bit hectic, but um, always fun and exciting. You know, that's one of the major things about my my lifestyle and what I do. It's never boring. Um, I have so many facets to my business. Yes. So, you know, one day I could be all wrapped up in doing uh, physical transformations or checking on my clients that are uh, going through transformations. Um, other days with styling, you know, hair and makeup and wardrobe to finishing uh, to finishing the look for people who are at the end of their transformations. So it's it's always fun. It's always exciting. Um, you know, even the matchmaking aspect. I have some assistants that work with me because I, it's impossible to do everything all at once. Um, and I, I get I'm very heavily involved in that as well. So it's fun to hear, you know, how did the conversations go? And, you know, what did she think of him? And oh, my God, did they have that energy? You know, like, where was the day? Like, you know, we set all this up. So it's yes. always, exciting, always fun. Lots of coaching, styling. I think I have the perfect job. Yes, because you know what's really neat about this with what you do is everybody has beautiful qualities within them and they're a diamond in the rough. And sometimes we just need that sense of empowerment and to get polished. And that's what you do. That's right. That's right. I, I just, how, how did you get started? Oh, well, that was my, uh, I got started through my own personal journey, actually. And this is why. Um, all of this work is so relatable and, and my whole state of mind and my, my mentality and way of thinking and perspective is so relatable to people um, because I've been there, because I've gone through things, you know, even though I've been educated, education, it's like, you know, not so many people are paying attention to that anymore. It's really what have you experienced in life and, and what have you learned from it and, and how did you how did you go through it and how can you help me go through it is what really relates to people now. So I literally um, step into someone's life and hand in hand, take them through um, the journey that they need to go through the right way um, and help them make the right decisions so that they can also create a better version of themselves. You know, mm -hmm. 
everybody not everybody has the confidence not everybody has the knowledge or maybe they used to have the knowledge and the knowledge has changed um out here right especially when it comes to dating or relationships and uh it's good to have somebody that can actually step right into your life and pull you out of things as well right oh that is absolutely so true and what you're doing is creating a total package of personal development and skills and just so much to a person's life and what you're saying is absolutely apropos because there are so many different cultures subcultures and we don't get exposed to the same things all the time nor do we have the same type of support system every family is different every community is a little bit different and the transformation process when you think about this and you look at certain people that you see in the media or their stories and you see these people that have come from a place that has not had a lot of education or support system and you see someone rise and you talk to them about that they end up telling you about someone like yourself that has really given them the power to do it and this is something that I feel so passionate about as well in helping people just move forward in life so when you are sharing how it started for you you also give a sense of complete understand understanding and empathy to someone when when they first meet you because there's a trust issue do i trust this person to change or bring something out of me that i'm not sure i'm kind of scared about so you you do that you have that because of your background as well so i want to talk a little bit first about your book because Sometimes people learn through hearing, sometimes people learn through visual, and sometimes it's a combination of the two. And so you have something that someone can put in their hands and really start making changes. That's right. And um, actually, I have a copy here. I had to run out to my car because <laughs> I always have to have some copies on me because you'd be surprised how many people I run into every single day. And, you know, like it's... Conversa I'm, I'm a very outgoing individual, so I, I tend to like have people gravitate and I, and I speak to just anybody and it, it always comes up. So I always like to have the book handy with me because I end up just giving it away to people. Like, oh, oh God, you have to read my book because this is exactly what I talk about. Like, and there's just so many aspects of this book. So I just happen to have it right here. I love it. A, Ooh, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. I love it. And what an elegant picture everything about it shows the total package a total polished package so tell us uh, don't give away all of the secrets in there but can you give us a little little bit of your details that yeah, of course so first of all i was born in august <laughs> and all my life uh, somehow i've just been this very methodical individual and i think part of that has also given me the ability to to teach people and to show people very strategically how to um, break things down and understand why things happen and, and how that might have affected them and potentially the right things to do to get themselves out of certain situations, whether it's relationship or mindset or what have you. So it was really important for me um, to start that it, the book in the same process so that it was very easy for people to read and very easy for them to grasp exactly what it is that I'm saying. And what I did was I started with explaining how this world works because we all live in our own little bubble, you know, uh -huh. within our perspectives and how we were conditioned when we were little kids and, yes. and what we assumed that we need to believe and, you know, who we become. Um, so I wanted to give, give people an understanding of what that looks like. And, Honestly speaking, this world is quite ugly, you know, and I, uh, I really hate to agree with you on this because I try to stay. Yeah, I try to stay really positive and agreeing with that just right. It's hard yes. To oh, <laughs> right. Because <laughs> yes, it's the wrong person that is negative and and and, you know, uh, you, you can speak to a person that has some issues of their own that they probably did not self-reflect about that are infusing their opinions or, or, or their expectations onto you. 
And then, you know, then there's, it's like typical, you know, little bad devil, good, good angel on your shoulders, always talking to you go in and it gets into your subconscious mind. You start to have self doubt. There's so many things that come at us from in the world that, that affects us, our environment, uh, uh, you know, our surroundings, like all kinds of, right. So you have to be able to know how to control all of this. Yes. So once I started with explaining how the world actually really is and try to get people to step outside of their bubble. And then uh, I'll just take it through a couple of different parts. Of, I don't, you know. Yes, yes. But, and then after that, once you have a grasp of how the world actually works outside of your little box, um, and that's a term I use, you have to actually decide, you know, come to a point where you decide what kind of person do you want to be? Do you want to be somebody that makes an impact? Do you, do you, you know, do you want to be a, a kind person? Do you want to be a cheap person? Or do you want to be a generous person? Do you want yes. to be a nice person? Do you want to be an open-minded person? Um, you know, like, do you, like the world is your apple, right? So once you make that decision, I, show, I basically break it down for you and show you in, in steps and lists and actions, how to actually um, go forward and, and change things and make things happen. And one of the first things, so once you have that grasp of the world and now you made a decision, okay, I wanna be this kind of person, then I give you the formula basically, right? And the formula starts with your environment because before we actually start working on our like physical body, Etc. And this is where I always start when you want to change the mind. You don't see, <laughs> you have to start with the physical program. It's um, true. Yeah, you have to change, you have to look at your environment and see how the environment is supporting you. So you can have a great outlook on life and everything. You can go to the gym, you can work out, you can come back. Your house is in total shambles. And it's like, oh, you know, you come back to that negative energy. So I encourage people to start in their home. Uh, and we do a complete declutter of the home. And this is actually in my coaching packages where I, I come to your home and you actually have a package called Hand in Hand and we work together and we make the list together. We, we make your vision. We, we create your wish list, everything you possibly want in your life. We're going to do this together. We're going to get you there. So we start with the home. We do a complete declutter. If I feel that it's a little bit gray in there and we're a little depressing in there and the weather starts to get a little bit cooler, you know, it, it, that also affects you. So we try yes. to wrap things up, right? So that you're constantly reinforcing positive things and positive energy. Then we start decluttering your relationships and your friendships because that is also part of your environment. And certain people can have a positive impact on you and there's people who have a very negative impact. Yes. So break that down one by one and we have lists for that as well and and we start to compartmentalize these people into categories so for example you know friends that you know want to always pull you out and stay out later what have you or you know a little bit more of a rebel type of friend okay great they might be fun but you know you can't sustain that and you know their focus uh, is on something else so you don't want to get involved in that all the time so keep them there just for that once in a while you know, people, there's people that you would bring to meet your family and to bring into your home that will always support you no matter what decisions you make and they will stand by you and not abandon you. Uh -huh. Without infusing their own views and their own things on you. Um, those are the kind of friends you want to have. So we compartmentalize all that. And then we start working on the physical body. And when you start exercising and you start putting yourself into a program, everything starts to change. Everything does. And then it, you know, obviously it takes you through certain things and then you get into other things, relationships. Um, yes. And before we get to the relationships part of what I want to talk to you about, you have worked with some very notable clients to really transform their lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very successful people. Um, you know, sometimes when you have enormous amount of success, Obviously, that comes from hard work majority of the time, um, and you are, you know, so focused on what you have to accomplish, and 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 you have to be diligent, etc. That you completely forget about your personal uh, relationships. Sometimes, 
whether you're already married or maybe maybe you didn't even have the time to really focus on meeting somebody and get married. Like there's a lot of successful people who are in their late 40s who have never been married and don't have children. And all of a sudden they have an epiphany and a wake, or a wake up call. It's like, oh my goodness. Oh my God, I'm, I'm almost 50 years old and I, I don't even have a family. I don't have kids. You know, what am I going to do now? You know, how do I go about this? Because now if you want to have kids, you have to date younger. Um, uh, so, it, you know, there's, there's a whole dynamic around this, right? So you could be the most intelligent person, the most successful person, but that doesn't mean that you have the support and the knowledge you need in order to facilitate certain other aspects of your life. True. And it, it doesn't mean that you're not capable. It's just, you know, maybe you've been asleep for a little while. <laughs> right. Point. No, and it's true. Awaken that and, and show you how it's done. It's the same way that somebody could be married for 30 years and, you know, maybe they've grown apart and they find themselves in this whole new realm of dating, which is absolutely like ridiculous these days. And, and, um, uh, so how do you how do you come from that old school mentality and try to step into this modern way of dating? It's, well, you're uh, making connective way. Yes, and you're make, you're really making a good point because the whole new way of digital dating is really kind of scary. There's a lot of Mm, how can I put this? Predators and trolls on some of these dating sites. Some of them are not there to really create a healthy long-term relationship. They're there for other purposes. And if you're really wanting to find someone that fits you and your personality and you're going to establish a really healthy life together, you need something a lot more concrete, more substantial. And here's where you come in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Tell us about this. You have to, it's, well, it's all about perspective and uh, experience. And if you don't have either, this is where I step in and help you find it um, the right way. Um, you know, there's certain rules that apply. Uh, in some situations, certain rules don't apply. Uh, but as long as you, um, you know, follow suit with integrity and logic, uh, everything will line up. And sometimes just the learning curve, you know, mm -hmm. this technology thing is really by design. It is by design. What you said, there's just one really key word that holds true to every part of someone's life. And that was integrity. Yes, absolutely. Because um, it with yourself yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and others and that is one of the hardest things to find because it's so easy to just fall off your word right yes <laughs> so um but the, you know people who choose to live by that they be they they really uh reap the benefits of what the universe brings them they really do. that's that's a really powerful statement because and i, I want to just state it as well because this and sometimes you really need to say things out loud and bring those to fruition just through statements alone but if you live by integrity you will reap the benefits that's right absolutely it's uh, that's probably one of the biggest things i hear now from people is you know what's that word people don't keep their word um in so many areas i'm losing just the sound a little bit can you hear me? Okay. There we go. Can you okay? Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah, a lot of people have an issue with word. Uh, people make promises they don't keep. Um, they dismiss their promises so easily, you know. And this is how people condition each other to trust or not to trust. And that's why mm -hmm. trust <laughs> Yes. hard to find right yes it is very much so exactly that's trust is one of the biggest obstacles for people and it all it only comes from well it comes from their um you know their their mentality is like their I, we call it the script you know from when we're a little child or a little kid we we start we inherit the script 
one day we just decide because this happened that this is the way it is. It doesn't mean that it's the right way. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Script, and we live by the script over and over and over again, right? Yes. Right. So, um, and then if you take that into like the whole relationship context, our experiences dictate how we're gonna, how our mind works and, and, and what our expectations are going to be and our, how much lack of trust we're going to have because we've been disappointed over and over and over and we've been conditioned by this. So now yes. our expectation is to be disappointed. This is where it's so hard to trust, right? Until somebody shows you a different way of thinking. So somebody has to, if you don't reflect, self-reflect, you're not going to find this out. If you're not going to step outside of your box to look further, you're not going to find out and you can live your whole life like this. That is so true. So this is what I tried to do. I tried to, you know, I, people share things with me and I, and I try to open the door for them to like, at least look in the hallway and see what's, <laughs> what yes. are, you know, yes. see how other things actually do exist and why you are the way you are. And now let's try to undo all that because A, B, C, D, E happened and that conditioned you to think and feel this way. But let's just say it happened like this. How would you be feeling today? Mm -hmm. Right? Well, there's a lot to it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, there is a lot to it. But one of the things that I have taught on is rebuilding trust. And you do this very, very well. And you bring it into the entire person's life. And especially when it comes to relationships, because oftentimes when we use the word relationship, we think of that being just an immediate relationship as far as like dating or marriage, but relationships extend to our parents, our children, our coworkers, That's people right. out in the community. And so if there's an issue with trust in a relationship, it applies to many people. And often we don't see that. And this is why it's so necessary to do like what you're doing and rebuild the trust so that it's not a blanket viewpoint. That's right. That's right. And it's not, it's not something that happens like, okay, I'm going to have trust tomorrow. It's time and consistency and positive selective positive choices on how we choose to go and become involved in relationships. And what you said earlier is so important as we talk about this, because you were talking about decluttering those that are not healthy for your life. And when you, you declutter that and you start having positive people in your life, you begin to start rebuilding the trust just in that area alone. Start opening up windows. Yes. <laughs> You start opening up doors and the breeze comes in. I love it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a whole different ball game. And the key word here is also choice, right? It's yes. Choice. Okay. So often I'll say, you know, happiness is really a choice, right? Because we it is find so hard to keep all that bad stuff out of your life, right? By your mindset. Like, no, I don't trust that this and that trust. You're also keeping all the good stuff out. That's true. Right? That is true. Oh, yes. You're keeping everything up. So, I mean, risk is part of life, right? If you don't open that door, you're not going to know. And what you don't know, you don't know. So how are you supposed to know? Yes. <laughs> yes. And, you know, we, I know we're getting close on time here. So I really want to make a point of how important it is for people to get involved with like what you're doing, getting your book, total package, life coaching. This is really essential right now. Right now, right now is important because we are seeing unprecedented situations of depression, anxiety, people that are looking to make a choice that is permanent mm -hmm. where they're not here anymore. And all of this can be changed. Your life can be fantastic. It can be joyful. You can have happiness. You can minimize sorrow. And here is how. So I'm going to share with the audience by your 
words, how they can get in touch with you. I want you to yes, hold your book up again. Where can they go to get a copy of your book? What can they do to connect? Because you offer your skills via video consultation, in person, lots of things. So please bring it on, girl. Okay, so uh, I'm on Amazon, um, Kindle, all those platforms. Uh, the digital version of my book, Right now, and for sev several weeks now, what I've done is purposely um, allow this book to be sold for 99 cents. What? And, yes, for 99 cents. And it's actually, gonna, um, uh, the, the deadline is October 1st. You're gonna, Amazon's going to notify you if you go buy this book for 99 cents uh, on Amazon and Kindle. Um, it, you'll be able to download it on October 1st. That is the day. Okay? And... Um, also, you can also buy the hard copy there. This is really good because you actually have lists in here that you can make and you can share this. So if you want to have one for yourself, maybe do a digital copy. If you want to get one and share it with a friend that's struggling and going through things. And it's like a little Bible, you know, it's like, if you do this, you're going to come out on the other side. This, okay. One plus this book equals. Yes. 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 And, um, there's so much in this book on, on every level that you, it, it's going to give you a new perspective and cr at least crack that door open for you, for you to actually start taking action. You can also get it on avivarimer.com, which is my personal website. And um, yeah, uh, all my coaching packages are there. I'm very accessible. So if, if you need a hand, I have a package called Hand in Hand. Um, I also have a, a package call, um, called uh, Starting Your Journey. So it's a, phone, it's a conversation. We talk every week. I guide you through the process, and you follow the steps in this book. This book will change your life, just like I'm doing those emails. I absolutely love it. Aviva, thank you so much for being on the show today, and I thank you for what you're doing to change people's lives. Thank you. It's very rewarding. And I want to thank all of you for tuning in to another episode of Rebecca Sounds Reveille. Definitely check out avivarimer.com. Go to Amazon, get a copy of the total package. These are things that are going to make a difference. And as you know, I always try to make sure you have tools and resources in your hand to do it. And you've got this today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.